as Mark told us yesterday, talking season's kind of over. That's right. And it's it's time to get down to it. How you feel about your guys going into the – Feel good, man. We're we're getting back healthy and and uh, hitting hitting stride at the right time and getting guys back at the right time. So I feel good. We've had a good. Uh, I know the guys are ready to, you know, practice or hit somebody else. You know, we've been hitting our defense for the last three weeks now, so we're ready to ready to hit somebody else. So I feel good about those guys up front. They've had a good good training camp and, and good week and a half of prep against for Miami Ohio. And guys are ready to roll. It's an interesting start. I guess the first game you got two freshmen on yeah. the left side of the yeah. first game too. I mean, how are you going to kind of approach that mid game with the? Learners? Yeah, I mean, I think you know, I think I'm excited. I mean, I'm really excited about those guys playing. I think they've earned it and, and they've done a good job. And obviously, Jag has, has stepped in for for Kenneth right now, and and, um, and Kenneth has been getting some really good reps with us this week, and and see how he feels for this weekend. But, you know, Wally's done a good job of locking down the left tackle spot right now and, and got a lot of confidence in both those guys, smart, both smart guys, tough guys. They know the offense. And, you know, the, like I said, there's going to be some really good things and there'll be some things that we got to improve on that right, that left side and help them out with some stuff and, and, the, and some protection stuff and all that stuff. And we know what we got to do to help protect them. And, and uh, but, you know, we'll just see how the game goes. But we got answers for everything. So we're That's good. A, a rare scenario. Uh, I, w- I would think for an SEC team too. What does that speak to their talent level and? Ability yeah, I think both of them have, have done a really good job of, of of playing over there and all that stuff. And obviously, um, you know, with when Jags has done a good job on the right side and left side, and so has Wally, both sides. And and um, I think Wally's and Dave has done a good job on the left tackles of of really earning that spot and, and Jag both sides. You know, and and it's helped him get a lot of reps with. Kenneth taking some time off a little bit and 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 resting him and getting some some good some good rest time and and Jag really stepping up and and earning that that start for this this year or this this uh, week. Rich talked a lot about and he has all camp about playing fast, of mm-hmm. course. Yeah. How do you feel about your kids available or your kids' ability to, to play fast now? Yeah, I mean that's what we've talked about since day one since we got here, and and that's our mentality up front is crossing the line of scrimmage and, and with the wide zone or whatever we're running, you know, scheme-wise up front is, is, is playing fast, setting our angles, and uh, hitting the guys on the angles that we find them. And that's what we've been preaching the whole time and not trying to – we're not shuffling. We're not trying to – you know, we, we know that there's going to be movement. we got to handle the movement and all that stuff, but that's what we work every day in our individual. And against our defense, we get a lot of movement against our defense. And they do – they get us prepared for a lot of different things. So it's been a really good training camp, and our guys have seen – a lot, a lot of stuff. So I'm excited about their the preparation. How much more challenging is that wide zone stuff than, than what they've been doing? I mean, they they everybody's run some sort of wide zone. You know, what I'm saying they did it last year here. I mean, we're gonna obviously we 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 you know that's kind of what we hang our hat on, and, and that's kind of what everything's built off of with the play actions and the keepers and all that stuff. And, and guys know that, but um, it's not it's not any more difficult. I mean, I think our guys have done a really good job of IDing it and. And front identification and knowing where we're going, and I think that's a big advantage to what, how we're doing things compared to what a lot of people do is, you know, identifying it and, and knowing exactly who we're working to, and and uh, and that, that allows us to play fast. So, Rich has it. repeatedly used the word smart when talking about these young guys. Who yeah, got into the mix. People think of offensive linemen big, strong, yeah. na- nasty, but how big is the smart element? Yeah, I think it's well, I think it's huge of just being intelligent and and. And smart, and obviously you guys do a really good job in the classroom and, and hang their hat on that. But just the the intelligence part and the football, you know, intelligence part of it, and, and watching film and kind of being able to um, really just digest everything. And and it goes along with you know just remembering things and the reps and 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 those guys have done a really good job with it. I mean, then they're bright guys. They get the they know the offense, you know. And like I said, when we know where we're going and and know who we're going to, we're we're pretty good running off the ball. With Wallabog, how beneficial is his background with his dad being an NFL guy, his brother playing at Duke, just helping him learn? You said he's yeah. so smart for I a mean, young guy. I think it's just, you know, he's grown up around it. I think he's seen it, and, and that, that always helps, right? It always, it's just always helps with with just, you know, just that little extra, you know, coming in and being, your you know, really your second year here, but having that background with the dad, his dad and, and his brother and watching his brother play and, and just really knowing what – the, what it's about, you know, playing offensive line, and, and it's it's hard. I tell those guys, I mean, it's a it's probably it's the toughest position, you know, to play as a young guy, just because of just you got to be a man, you got to be a, especially in this league, and it's you know, and, and those guys have earned it, and they've done a really good job with it, and and but I think you know Wally's background is is it doesn't hurt. I can promise you that. So he's done a good job. Was there 